Our next guest is a national best-selling author and social entrepreneur. With his latest book, he proves once more that he is one of the most effective storytellers and leaders of his generation. Here to discuss his new book and help us define success for ourselves is Wes Moore. Welcome to the show, Wes. It's my pleasure. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you. So the title of your new book is, I want to get this right, it's called The Work. Yes. My Search for a Life That Matters. So please tell us what it's about. So basically, the, this idea of the the work, it really was my personal journey, and uh, you know I, I you know had a, a, a challenging you know childhood. But one thing that I noticed as I was coming up was we're really trying to understand and get that greater sense of what exactly it means to be relevant. Okay. And so I you know I wrote a book uh, you know, before called The Other West Moore, yes. and with that story is really kind of detailed my life and the life of another guy who uh, grew up. We had the same name, um, came from the same neighborhood, but he's currently incarcerated for for mm -hmm. life for the murder of a police officer. Oh. And so if that story was really about how exactly do we make it. You know, what really what I wanted the work to be about was how do we make it matter yeah. that we've even made it in the first place. And so yeah. how I define the work is it's when your greatest joys and your greatest gifts begin to start overlapping with the world's greatest needs. And then you choose to actually do something about that. And so what I wanted to do with these stories was to both talk about you know, my journey and trying to find my own work, yeah. but then also highlight these handful of people who have truly found their work in whatever sector they're in and how they're making their own personal impact on it. So how did you find your greatest gifts? So I think, you know... And what are they? <laughs> yeah. Well, well I, th I think, you know, part of it, when I think about, you know, my own journey, one of the things I really try to explain in the book is that it really is a very personal process, yeah. right? You know, it's, uh, you know, my own adventures and misadventures, which I lay out in the story of trying to find it, uh, you know, really happen where you begin at some point, begin to start opening your eyes and realizing that they are out there. You just have to search for it. And I remember yeah. when I was, uh, you know, I was speaking with a mentor of mine. I was working in finance. I worked in, in, in finance for a while. Yes. And I was speaking with him about it. And, uh, and he says, why exactly are you doing it? And I explained because I wanted to learn a skill set and et cetera. And he said, he said, uh, listen, I'm never going to judge you on what you decide to do for a living, if, especially if you feel like it's something that's important for your family. But he said, but the moment that you feel like you can leave, leave. Because every day you're doing what it is that you're not supposed to be doing. Every day you're not fulfilling your larger purpose. Mm. You become extraordinarily ordinary. Well, let's talk about that. How do you find meaning for your life? You know, we, yeah. we get the to-do and yeah. we know the skill set bit, yeah. but how do you find meaning for your life? Well, you know, so I, I think oftentimes, and, and part of the beauty of it is whether it's it's highlighting, uh, you know, as you talk about in the book, a woman in Boston who created a business, uh, she became an entrepreneur, and her business, uh, she, the only people she hires in her business called American Mojo, it's a clothing company, mm -hmm. and the Mojo stands for Mothers and Jobs, uh. because the only people she hires in her company are single mothers who live in poverty, and she does it as a tribute to her mother, and the struggles she saw her own mother go through, or, or, or the two veterans in North Carolina, one of whom who lost both of his legs in Iraq, and they've both come back in his way of both healing themselves and healing the community. They have, they've now started an organization called Purple Heart Homes, where they go around the country building homes together wow. for service-disabled veterans. And so I think how we go about finding our point and our purpose, it's a personal journey. Yes. But one thing we have to understand is you find it when you lose yourself in the service of others. You find it when you completely lose yourself with this idea that I have something to give. And when you, then, when you then go to that process, you find what it is you're supposed to be doing here. And you were a combat officer in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. How does that play into, into finding your meaning and, and how, d how does that play into your life and yeah. your success? It's, um, it's interesting, it's a good question because I think one thing I, I, where it really started to become clear to me was actually in Afghanistan because yeah. I, I, I redeployed and I came from a place where everything was urgent, yeah. right? Where every day it mattered that you woke up and every day you, you were focused just to maintain, just to make sure that your people around you mm. were okay and they were safe. Uh, and then I came back and I felt like I'd lost that. Wow. I'd lost that urgency. And so this yeah. constant quest then to find what it is that made me relevant was really what helped to drive it. And even the work that we do right now, I, I run an organization called Bridge EDU, where we work and we try to help students who are you know, trying to help them navigate higher education. And we do it by basically reinventing the freshman year of college, because that's when we lose most students. In that, I felt like for the first time I had found my point again. I found like I wake up in the morning and it matters. Giving and back, that's my work. That's helping exactly others. Right. Well, let's talk about that. If money wasn't a factor, what would you be inspired to do? I mean, because obviously you're kind of in that zone. So yeah. did you sort of meet enterprise at the pass of your calling? Yeah, well, you know, I, I think 
I think what ended up happening was it wasn't even so much for me about asking the question about if money weren't, you know, weren't an issue, what would I, what would I then choose to do? Yeah. It was really about what helps me to come alive. What helps me to realize that it actually matters that I am here? And, uh, you know, and I remember when, uh, so I was, I had a chance to interview Harry Belafonte. Yes. Um, and I was guest co-hosting a show, uh, and, and Harry Belafonte came up to the set. And I remember, you know, I was, he was a huge hero in my family, both because yeah. of the Caribbean heritage, and, <laughs> but also because, and for my grandmother's case, the tight pants and all that kind of stuff. Oh. <laughs> but, and but the for, banana boat song. And the banana boat song, right? <laughs> he's but, a good looking guy. And, he's a good, well. and still like in his mid 80s, he yeah, looks exactly the same. He still looks good. He looks and, and so, yeah. but, but, he, uh, but I was always fascinated by his love and his passion for humanity and for the ability, he always wanted to make his celebrity mean something. That's right. Yeah. Right, because there's a lot of folks who won't get involved in controversial yeah. issues because they're afraid of, people won't see my movies, yes. they won't buy my books, so they won't you know, buy my sneakers. That was never Harry Belafonte. And I yeah. asked him that question, and he said something to me. I asked him, why was it so important for him to get involved? And he said something that was so interesting. He said, because it's just more fun to live that way. Uh. And he said, some people wake up in the morning and they call their accountants. I wake up in the morning and I call Nelson Mandela. I love that. Who do you wow. think has a more interesting life? Wes Moore, you have an interesting <laughs> life. And this book life. is interesting. interesting book. <laughs> exactly, and it's out right now. It is, yes it is. Okay. Yes it is, we're very thankful. The All work, right. my search for a life that matters. Wes Moore, thank you. My pleasure, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.